is up guys the chivalrous toaster here today i'm bringing you a life story but first i'm playing a game called a story about my uncle if you're into platforming games uh this game is a little bit different but it's a ton of fun to play really recommend it if you have a pc and you just have you know a couple of bucks so you know it's I'm not a huge indie game fan, but this is one indie game that I recommend. So, yeah. But, let's get into the story. It's going to be the story about how I broke my collarbone doing something, you know, stupid. But how else do you break bones besides when you're doing something stupid? So, give you a little background information. Uh, I... Went to the Boys and Girls Club when I was like nine, like ten maybe. But I was in like third grade or so, and my mom and my dad both worked, so me and my brother had to go somewhere during the day. You know, so we went to the Bro Boys and Girls Club, and they basically just babysat us for, you know, however long it was that my mom worked. And. We, we, you know, we didn't have a ton of fun there, but, like, at least once a week, we know it was in Utah, so it was always pretty sunny and nice, so we went to the, uh, like, a park a lot, and this one day, we went to the park, and they had hula hoops, and they, they wanted everybody to play with them before they got out, like, other things, like, footballs and frisbees and soccer balls and me and the, some of the kids that I hung out with while at the Boys and Girls Club were just trying to jump in through the hula hoop seeing who could like go the farthest through the hula hoop we're seeing if somebody could like get through the hula hoop without like touching the edges of it and nobody had done it yet I was determined to be the person who was able to um, to, you know, jump through the hula hoop without touching it. That was going to be me. This is where I made the mistake, you know, I was so determined that I, I was going to try, and when I jumped through the, I jumped through, you know, I took a running start, and I jumped through the hula hoop. But I, a lot of the kids were, like, jumping through on their, just like, uh, like Superman, you know, like, just landing on their stomach. They're putting their arms out to brace themselves. Uh, I didn't have that ability because I turned to my side so my feet wouldn't hit the edges of the hula hoop. So, you know, I did I did jump through the hula hoop without touching the sides. But when I landed, I landed on my shoulder. And immediately, I couldn't get it, like... I was trying to push with my arm to move and get up. I just could It hurt so bad. And my brother ran over and he's like, are you okay? You doing all right? And I was like, no. And I was crying. And the leaders from the boys, I don't know what they're called, but the, I'm just going to call them the leaders from the Boys and Girls Club are like, oh, are you okay? You going to stop crying? And I was like, oh, no, I'm not. I don't want to play any games with you. I don't want to play at the hula hoop, hoop anymore. But they wouldn't take me back. They made me wait there for like another half hour, 45 minutes until we were done playing at the park. And when we were finally finished, they took me back. And they were like, uh, we, we can let you call your mom, but I don't think she's going to come pick you up. And in my head, I was like, she'll come pick me up. My mom loves me. But... She didn't. She. I called her and I was like, Mom, I really hurt my shoulder. Except I was nine, so it didn't sound anything like that. It was probably like, Mom, I hurt my shoulder. Will you come pick me up, please? 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 So, I... So I called my mom. She couldn't come pick me up. And then I had to wait there 
for I another I was looking for my uncle couple of hours, another hour. Do you know where he is? Until my mom got know? off of work, and when she came pick me up, if you were sorry, we just went home, and I was complaining about my shoulder, and I was crying, and she was like, "We're gonna wait a little while to see if you're actually like hurt, you know." We don't want to just like go there for no reason. So, I, I, you can't make me wait, mom. You're not. I'm not waiting. She's like, no. We'll wait a little bit. You're probably fine. You probably just bruised it. So three days later, we went to the doctor, and I broke in my collarbone. And they're like, oh, you, it looks you know bad. And they're like, oh, we waited three days. And like, oh. I say this for okay, your own that's weird, life. but you are forbidden from this, entering the castle. this uh, kind of is a lesson, a lesson, if you, you want to get a lesson out of the story, the lesson it should be like, don't whine all the time, because the reason why my mom didn't want to take me to the doctors, because I, you know, I was, I was the kid that always whined about everything, because I didn't know the brother who would, like, when he was hanging out with his friends, they would, like, make fun of me and stuff, and so I'd always go whine, so I'd get my way, and if you don't want to wait three days after you break a bone to go to the doctor, don't whine all the time. So, that's that's my story. Uh, I know it wasn't, like, super long or cool, but I thought, it, I thought it's a good message, just not to whine all the time, so you get taken to the doctor on time, so you don't really hurt yourself remember I don't like fishing for likes or anything so just have a nice day